Theft cases are very unique. You purposefully tuck something from somebody. And many cases, if it's a shoplifting case, they've got cameras of it. The, the uh, Walmart here and Macy's out here, they have cameras everywhere. The problem with a theft case is it's a crime of moral turpitude. And it's a very serious thing going forward because if you're charged and convicted of a theft case and have that crime of moral turpitude on your record, it's going to be very difficult for you to obtain a license. I'm not talking just a license to be a lawyer or a doctor. How about being a cosmetologist or a realtor or anybody that requires a state license? You're going to have a problem. I represented a young man a couple years back that uh, was charged with stealing from a grocery store. He had put some food in the uh, cart and walked outside, and they arrested him saying he was trying to steal that. I was able to show the jury that that's absolutely the furthest thing from the truth. He had his young son in the basket. His son was acting up and wanted mommy. And so his dad was taking the car or taking the son out to find mommy. Also, his wallet was outside, and he was actually turned back around to go back into the store with his wallet to pay for the, the items. But the state didn't see it that way. We had to go all the way to trial where the, where the jury came back with a 10-minute not guilty. If you're facing a tough Texas prosecutor, you're going to want somebody in my experience. You're going to want to pick up the phone and call me. I've been a judge. I've been a prosecutor, I've been a county attorney, and I've been a defense lawyer. I'll bring all that to bear on your case.